Hello. Hi, Mrs. Donut. How are you? I am doing okay. What are we going to do today? We are going to, I think, do some grass work. I think it's uh, prudent for us to expand our field and make it bigger and bigger and bigger. So we get more and more so money. So for that, we're going to have to take down some trees and stuff then, right? Yeah, I think we have to do some hardcore logging today. Get these probably 10-ish more done. How about we go up to maybe where this crescent, you know, turnaround spot is and get this corner of the map done? What do you reckon? Yeah. Do we have a plow or something to make more field? Uh, yeah, I don't know where it is. Uh, yeah, we'll have to find that. We'll have to plow it up and then we'll have to seed it, of course. So. But first the trees. Yeah. So let me um, jump out and or jump out and get a uh, chainsaw out and start that. Do you want to go find the plow and bring it home? Yeah, that's a good idea. And um, yeah, if we can get this stuff done. All right, I'll go and do that. And then uh, then we can do all the other stuff. Yeah, I don't think we should take too long. There's not that many trees. I think I'll start by maybe felling everything. And then, I don't know, I don't know what the best strategy is to cut down trees. Do you like do one tree at once? Do you drop them all? Cut them down and then take the branches off. One by one, and you reckon? Work it out. Yeah, well, I, I like to cut it down and then do that. Yeah, I like cutting down the entire forest first, yeah. Um, but if I do each one and then it's just like pick up sticks, because then I hate having to think of how long to make them so that you can pick them up. Yeah. That to me is the hardest bit, so if you can get that bit done. It, it's kind of hard to judge, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. And also the, the, the different uh, size trees, like the, the different width of trunk, definitely mm. affects obviously how much you can uh, you can cut up. I was just noting our pile of like end bits is getting quite big. Yeah, we should probably take some down, get yeah. some money for it. Have to organize that at some point. We've got two or three on top of the Santana right now. But uh, there's still a lot more to be sold. We'll have to get to that over the next couple of episodes. Oh my goodness, there's a stupid yellow van again. Uh, it's, it comes at you, doesn't it? I think because it's such a big car, it's like it's bigger than like the you know the domestic cars. Yeah, you don't even notice the other cars compared to that yellow van. Yeah, it just takes up a little bit more road space. And I think it just perception-wise, it feels like it's driving more aggressively, even though I know it's not. Mm. Yeah, I think because you see so many people in those vans in real life be a little bit less than, you know, favourable on the road. Um, we'll just be very busy, right? Yeah, I mean... If you They've think got somewhere it, to be. Yeah, I mean, all these people are time poor and, you know... Especially when you... Oh, there we are. I found the plough. It was parked beautifully in the shed. Oh, that's good kind of job it. whoever parked it there last. I'm hoping it was me because it's beautifully parked. Uh, yeah, I'm looking at the ends of our trees. We must have dropped 20 trees by now. Yeah, the number is definitely getting up there. And the other side of the field is still there to go. There's still tons more to drop. Yeah, I can't wait till we have the whole thing set up. That's going to be really fun. I think it's going to Ooh. look so different to how we started. Yeah. I, I do like going back and, you know, considering, you know, looking at what the map looked like at the beginning and versus the end of a series. There's a sense of achievement with this map in particular as, as we develop. It's very good. Oh, this is scary. I have the plow folded up, of course, because you can't drive with it not folded up. Yeah. But um, it's still, it has little grabby bits on the edge. <laughs> yeah, it's still got a bit of a, an ability Which... to be caught, yeah. Oh, cars, no. That's real close. Got to remember to get rid of these stumps that are in the grass so I don't lose them. Oh, I'm, I'm the queen of the stump, of getting rid of those stumps in the grass. The thing I know that's so easy to lose in the grass is a bale, because it's exactly the same colour. I actually think the worst thing to lose in the grass is a log, because at oh. one stage I had a log roll off, and I could not find it for the life of me. And that's why with the smaller trees in particular, I always find I, I drag them off just because otherwise... Yeah, they're gone. I just... yes. Well, I 
think we've got... Well, up to the stumps to go, but I think there's one tree left. And I will report to you that the sunlight has now finally reached the ground. Rather nice. than... Uh, I'm nearly being... there. Ooh. This plot of land definitely is very shadowy. Uh, the, the trees... Let it be known I made it through the fence first time. Nothing but net? Nothing but net. It was very beautiful. I can see you. Hello back. Hello. All right. Are you ready for me to do some making a field? Uh, I have just been cutting stuff down. It's quite a slow task, unfortunately. Do you still have the uh, the stumps to take? Uh, I've got a couple, but you can walk around and fix that for Maybe me. Maybe I'll walk around and do some stumps. Yeah. So probably oh, just just to accelerate things. First. How about we just cut these up for a while off camera, and then we'll. Mm -hmm. So at least make them a big pile over here or, or put them on the on the trailer and mm -hmm. then um, once we've got a, enough out of the way uh, we'll re-adjourn and then you can get plowing sounds good cool I think this might be the close to the final cut for this area got another small piece that was a little bit too heavy I, I might start doing this plowing then yeah it didn't take too long took us about well, actually, it did take us long. It took about 10 minutes to do that. Of just cutting and and pushing it into the right pile. So, uh, yeah, while you do that, I'll get away from the edge here. And uh, we'll get these Oh, no, loaded. I accidentally drove through a hedge again. Yeah, the hedge looks like it's solid, doesn't it? But it's, it's It does, and it's very frightening when yeah. you do drive through it. The number of trees back here is immense. Like, if you want to do a logging-based experience, this is the place for it. It is huge. Oh, absolutely. Behind us, yeah. Yeah. I wonder how much that land costs. So if you bought that land, how much would you be up for? So we have this crescent. Oh, it's huge. 337,000. Oh, do I have to allow create fields? That's yep. right, isn't it? That's right. And then unfold plow. Yeah, so if you want to do logging, that would be a pretty good field because those trees oh, are nice okay. and straight and big. I think this map has been designed for all types of players because there's a massive quarry on the on the uh, field, on the map as well. So if you just want to like pick up a huge amount of stones and stuff. Awesome. And we are the proud owners of a bigger field. I love the animation on this plow. It really looks oh, realistic. Oh no, there's a, there's a stump in front of me. Where is it? Just right in front of the oh, there. Yeah. Yep. Get rid of that. Any more? Can you see any more? Mm, not that I can see, but sadly, I think we may end up finding them with the plow. We do. Well, yell out if you do, and... Um, I'll continue to load this trailer while you're doing that. Sounds good. You're getting really close to the end? Yep. Nice. Yeah, this has been... It looks really good, doesn't it? Yeah, it didn't take too and long. And all we need to do is seed it, right? Yeah. Now, I think the seed thing... Yep, it's over there on the field still, over by the gate. And voila! Now, when you're doing plowing um, for the purpose of a field, it also gets rid of the weeds, matter of factly. So sometimes, rather than using herbicide and stuff, it may be easy just to plow the field. And it kind of like pushes the weeds into the ground. But we now have probably what? Maybe a 50% more farmland? Yeah, what we had? I'm gonna look at the map. Yeah, you can see here that, um, yeah, we've added about another 50% of what we have. So it's about a third of our farmland. So yeah, it's awesome. All right, do you want to unload that somewhere and grab the cedar and, and get some grass in the ground? Yeah, it sounds like a good idea. Oh, I'm trying not to drive on the field, but I'm very bad at it. Okay. This loading oh, of logs, wow. by the way, is very repetitive. <laughs> very laborious. Uh, I do look forward for this field to be no more, uh, no more logs on it. It's great that it makes money and all, but it's a bit, a bit boring. The logging? Yeah. Just, just loading the trailer. It just takes forever. And it's I think, too, physics doesn't seem to like us very much. Yeah. Oh. Oops. Oops. 
Ah, it doesn't like me. It always takes me a few shots to get this. The uh, trailer? Oh, the, the yeah. cedar? Ah, I got it. It joined. Ha 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 ha. Can I get around without hitting any trees? Is this oh, you got this. Spot? You're about to do this. Oh, I might just go through the forest. It's easier. So I think I might take this load because I'm kind of struggling to reach up high enough to put the stuff on top. Yep. Oh, and yeah. do you want me to do the seeding while you do that? Yeah, you, you start off doing that. And then, um, yeah, I can use the Santana to drive the trailer. Mm -hmm. um, just unload and now that. the seed is selected already at grass. So yeah, I so it's in the bottom the right seeder. corner. Yeah. And then will it do it when I drive along? Um, I think those things on the roof are not going to do me any help. So I'll grab them later. And off you go. We have grass in the ground. Definitely go over the previous grass to make sure it's a, a constant thing. Oh no, I pressed a button. What'd you press? Where have oh, you I gone? I... Oh, you threw the uh, through the hedge. And then I pressed the see the green thing out the side. Oh, that's just so you can join them. This yeah, this this cedar is really cool. You can actually join like the front of the cedar to the left and the right, and then make like a triangle formation or a pyramid formation, and so that you can actually have more than uh, more than one active. And uh, basically, you can run three with relatively little amount of horsepower and get a really huge width. So you never believe this, but I hit a tree. <laughs> no, you're fine, aren't you? You can just back out, right? Yeah, you're fine. All right, let me go, go deliver these uh, these logs. Yeah. And make us some money and I'll be right back. All right. Let's see if I can do this without A, hitting a gate, B, flipping over, and C, not hitting the yellow van. All right, I've arrived with no incident and no yellow van to be seen. Oh, where's the yellow van? Uh, I'm gonna guess two and a half thousand. Ooh, four. Nice. Actually, while I'm over here, I want to find out what this quarry looks like. I'm going to go on a little jaunt, if you don't mind. That's fine. Uh, actually, I'm just going to run up this road. Because I've seen it on the map, but I haven't actually seen it in person. Oh, wow, it's huge. It's 10, 20 times the size of uh, that piece of land we're on now. So I assume... The way this quarry works is somehow you dig the ground. Yeah, it's like it's like a perpetual rock pile. And so all of this, you can kind of see from the animation at the bottom how it doesn't join. Um, so it's about ooh, six feet, eight feet high, a couple of meters high. And it's just a sea of gravel or a sea of stone. That's cool. So you just scoop it up and and transport it and I assume sell it at the rock crushing plant or something. But yeah, if you wanted to be a miner, I guess, that's that's how you would do it. That's a cool I've never I've never been on a map that's had that type of quarry system before. I wonder if it'll have like that as one of the things, like the harvesting things. Oh, as a job? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if they've maybe there might be some mod you have to install to kind of like make that behavior. Um I've never seen a contract to say, hey, go get me a whole lot of stone. Um, trying to drive back in first person. I don't drive in first person much. I keep pressing not the reversing button. It's all the information I have for you. Uh, lift cedar. I think I'm just about done with the seeding, really? actually. I'm yeah, I am. Um, rushing back. Pretty good. Oh, yes, yellow van. My nemesis. He's come at you, has he? Oh, that was close. Yeah. Yeah, so that quarry is just the next road past the sawmill. 
run back to our... I was going to say to our forest, but it's not going to be a forest much longer, is it? No, I think we're nearly at the farmland stage where it's all just farmland. I definitely think we can call ourselves farmers now. We've got grass and, you know, we've kind of got a, got a no, I wouldn't, I wouldn't call it a crop, but we've got a, you know, a seasonal supply of cash. We've got the grapes and we've got this. All right. Um, oh, you've... Oh, no, I'm driving. Yeah, sorry. I'll stop. It's okay, we had a moment. What do you think? All right, turn it off. Let's have a look. Oh, wow. I'm trying to get a good camera angle, which isn't in the trees. Oh, it's all done. Awesome. I know. I did go through the fence a few times by accident. It did tell me a couple of times that I can't see the neighbor's property, but that's okay. <laughs> that's cool. That's awesome. That's yeah, I think it's a good part of the learning experience. I think our distance between the uh, like the farmland and the hedge is pretty good. Yeah. Awesome. And I noticed though, let me show you. I just got to turn the engine off here. So here between the the new and the old, there's a little bit here where it's kind of like a oh. different color. But I think were you telling me that this is where the old crops were? It's but because I went over it with the thing. The game tries to, I don't know, blend different things together. I'm not sure how to explain it. So if you kind of look underneath the grass, yeah. there's, a, there's a texture that's more, looks like that, like it looks like the yellow okay, one, so, but, it, but it's green. So, so I ran over the bit where there was grass is what you're saying. Yeah, so it's kind of pulled that texture across, but it's gone, well, it hasn't got grass on it, so it draws it in this straw type one instead. Okay. So yeah, it's just a, a way of it, from a, like a computer graphics point of view, trying to blend uh, the two different modes of the ground together. So, um, yeah, but awesome. I think we've done a tremendous thing today. Really good progress, I think. That's awesome. And then with this particular one, the grass here, it's not going to be ready this month, is it? It's going to be ready maybe next month or something? Um, I think it... We, I'm, for a I month or two? Yeah, I think it maybe takes two months or three months to grow. Uh, I'm not sure, but uh, we couldn't cut it right now, but I think we probably could cut it in November, I think. So, yeah. Mm, we'll see how it goes. See how it goes. Well, thanks for awesome. your help, Mrs. Donut. Are you welcome. Lots of uh, boring carrying of logs today, but yeah, we got there in the end, and it was cool to see the plowing and the seeding happening. Yeah, I accidentally ran over this log, which is why it's in the middle of the field. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> We'll load up the oh, there's trailer. another one over there too. Look how far that one got. Yeah, I saw that one. Uh, and then you, you just, where is it? Oh, yeah, this one. Yeah, you just dragged it. Yeah. Yeah, the, the um, machine picked it up. Yeah. We'll load up another trailer's worth and, uh, yeah, deliver that next time. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment, everybody. And we'll see you next time. See you, Mr. Donut. See you next time.